higher name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. No one before you and none beside you. You are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, God. Jesus. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. Hallelujah. We come just to magnify you this morning. We come just to thank you for everything, oh God, that you've done for us. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping us throughout the week, for keeping us this morning. We thank you, Jesus, for clothes on our back, for shoes on our feet, for a roof over our head. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For joy in our hearts. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. We glorify you. Hallelujah. We magnify you. Just continue to worship him. Just continue to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is no other name, Lord God, by which we must be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We magnify you. We magnify you. We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. To receive all glory. To receive all honor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise your name, Jesus. You cry, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Jesus. You are all knowing. You are all powerful. You are omnipresent. We magnify your name, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Even the heavens declare your glory this morning. And for a understanding. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Hallelujah. 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 We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Be lifted up. Be magnified. Be magnified. Be glorified, Jesus. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you. Hallelujah, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. You are holy, you are holy. Come on and just begin to worship the name of Jesus. Begin to lift up his name in this place. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for continuing to keep us. Hallelujah, for continuing to strengthen us. We magnify you, we magnify you, we glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have been good to us this morning. You have been good to us. We thank you, Jesus. Isn't he good this morning? Isn't God good this morning? Hasn't he been good throughout the week? Throughout the month, hasn't he been good? Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't God good? He's given us so many blessings undeserving That's what we are We are Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Lord God, we can feel the brush of angels wing. Hallelujah. For Lord, the Bible said that in the book of Revelation, that the 24 elders bow down before your throne. Lord, they take off, they take off what you have presented unto them. Mighty God, the crown, Lord, and they lay before you, Lord, because the crown is nothing to them. Because your presence made the difference, holy God. So we want to thank you, Lord God, today for your presence. We want to thank you, Lord God, for when we are in your presence, Lord, healing can take place. Deliverance can take place, mighty God. Holy Lord God, can be bended, holy Ghost. Mighty God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your anointing. I thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for your presence in our midst. Lord, we lay it before you today. We lay every anxiety, we lay every depression before you. We lay every sickness, Lord God. We lay everything at the foot of the cross. And we said, Lord God, have your own way today. Have your own way in our midst, Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord, for your presence. For Lord, where can we go, Lord, without your presence? Thank you, God. If your presence is not here with us, Lord, it makes no sense that we come here to say that we are giving worship. But Lord, we want to thank you for your presence. We want to thank you for your anointing. We want to thank you, burden lifter. We want to thank you, Lord God, for healing. We want to thank you, Lord God, for deliverance. We want to thank you, Lord God, that you are doing a new thing in our midst, holy God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for doing it. I thank you, Jesus, for touching us one more time. I thank you, Holy Ghost, for your sweet smelling favor in this place. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay it at the foot of the cross. Jesus. We lay it before you, Lord. We lay it before straight. We lay everything, Lord God, that's trying to reset us, Lord God, before your throne. And we say, Lord, have thine own way here in the midst of your people, Lord. Have thine own way, holy God. You are worthy. You are worthy this morning, Jesus. And Lord God, with the assurance today, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for what you're doing in our midst. We want to thank you, Holy God. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Holy God, for the assurance of your presence. I want to bless you this morning, Lord, for the assurance of your presence. For your presence make the difference, Lord. It is your presence that made the difference in our midst. And I thank you this morning, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for healing that is taking place. I thank you for deliverance that is taking place, Lord. We thank you, Holy God. We thank you. We thank you for fresh anointing. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence, the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that even in the midst as we speak, Lord, giving praise unto you, you can fill someone with the Holy Ghost and with power and with fire. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, whole glorious God. I thank you, Holy God. Lord, even as we're going to read from your word this morning, we want to thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. His word that this morning sings. Glory to God. We're going to read from the book of Isaiah 55. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And if we all find it, we can stand to read the word of the living God. Hallelujah. And we read our 20 verses. Hallelujah. And it reads us. How everyone that is 
thirst, come ye to the waters. And he that had no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Incline your ears and come unto me here, and he and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Even the even even the sure mercy of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is yet near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and you will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will not have in pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither ye your ways are my ways, said the Lord. For I have heavens are higher than earth. So are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As, as, for as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and return not thither, but wither to the earth, and make it, it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the soil, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing hereto I sent it. For he shall go, go out with joy, and be led forth with, with peace. For the mountain, the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Thirteen and last, instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the pride shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name. For an everlasting sign shall not be cut off. Glory to God. Thanks be to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for our hymn. You may rise up to sing the hymn.
Lord, praise the Lord. I have wounded souls today. If I have caused one foot to go astray, if I have walked in my own willful way,
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Just a quick word, word of uh, announcement. Praise God. Next Sunday is Youth Sunday. Amen. Can I get the young people to say hallelujah? Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, young people. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Next Sunday is Youth Sunday. I'm looking forward, praise God, to see what the young people have in mind, what they have in store, what the Lord is going to use them to do. Praise God. So please make sure you come out and support. And I've been announcing online, I don't know if I've said it here yet, maybe last week, um, that we are on a food drive. Praise God. We have some mouths to feed. Amen. Here in New Market. Not everybody, but who the Lord has blessed us to reach. Praise God. There is a, a New Market pantry. Um, they collect food stuff and you'd be surprised. People go there like a supermarket. Uh, they, are, they have the funding. They have the structure. And we're just trying to support them. We're not trying to, to do things ourselves. Amen. Amen. So we are asking when you go shopping, just pick up two extra tins of, of something. Praise God. Amen. Uh, cranberry juice. It's coming up to Thanksgiving, so there's turkey, so they need to be cranberry and canned corn and, and, and pumpkin pie and all the things that are non-perishable. And if you have money you want to give, I have somebody who heard me announce it on Tuesday night and, and called the church and asked for the e-transfer uh, handle, and when we, they sent $100 right away. Praise God. So if you can do anything, help us. Amen. We didn't do a whole lot this year. Uh, back to school came and went. Praise God. This, the other, that, the other. Uh, because we know we are under tight restraint. But this is something we can do. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. Nobody needs to go hungry in this world. I was saying the other day, if you plant one tomato seed, praise God, and you get a tomato plant with several tomatoes on it. Each tomato has so many seeds. Right. Amen. Uh, we, we should be able to give away food. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God, somebody. If everybody does something, praise God, we should be able to give away food. And you'd be surprised. There are people who are drinking dirty water and, and ha are starving to death because they have nothing to eat in a world where we can go to the supermarket and buy dog food. It's crazy. Praise God. So let's do something, somebody. Amen. Tell the person beside you, do something. Amen. Well, as you know, uh, 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 council is coming up again. Uh, we are we are part of the Canada District Council, and uh, uh, next month, the third the third weekend or the Thanksgiving weekend, one of those I don't have the dates. Shame on me, uh, but uh, it's on our website on the calendar. Um, as usual, we ask you to register. Just fifteen dollars support the council. Um, there's a lot that goes on um, between councils. Lots of traveling. Uh, we have to pay for accommodations here and there. And uh, there are ministries that we support, which we don't go online and announce. But there are things that we do behind the scenes. Um, so uh, please, if it's just $15, you can hardly get anything at McDonald's uh, for $15. So uh, please go on uh, the CDC website. Um, that's CanadaPAW.ca. CanadaPAW, Pentecostal Assembly of the World, .ca, and register and support our CDC Council. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I sing praises to your name. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, praises to your name. Said Luke 19. Oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be. I sing praises to your name. Oh. Greatly to be praised. 
uh, the mom and dad and the baby, they're back in the house of the Lord. Let's give God praise. We can please stand. Amen. Come on, let's, let's celebrate them, everybody. Thank you so much. Amen. Good to see you. God bless you. God bless you. And to all of you who are here today, greetings. I see mom and dad, dad. Praise God. Last, last Wednesday was Sister Karen's uh, birthday. And um, um, they, they uh, after the funeral, many of us just moved on, but they, they had ordered a, a headstone. And I'm pleased to say that they had it directed um, and put in place. So when you go by, you know who's there. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. We have not forgotten our dear, amen, Sister Karen. Somebody say amen. 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 Continue to keep the family. As a matter of fact, on the same day was also Sister Nadine's uh, uh, birthday as well. And you know how she went tragically. Uh, but we give God thanks for the time spent together. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, for those of you who are on social media, there is um, a very popular clip that we posted. Uh, a gentleman in a blue suit dancing. Praise God. And uh, everybody's talking about it and sharing it. Amen. And uh, he's here today. Reverend Cameron. Let's give God praise for Reverend Cameron. Praise the Lord. Amen. The older folks, the seasoned, the seasoned the saints, making a comeback. Amen. And if you missed it, you need to go and listen to Sister Eugene's testimony. Praise God. Amen. Sister Eugene, wave your hand. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. God is good to His people. When we do the declaration of, during the offertory, don't take it lightly. I know sometimes things just become a, a perfunctory exercise, and we just get used to it, and we just say. It you know, um, sub subconsciously. But I want you to say the purpose. Every sickness healed. Yeah. Amen. Every prayer answered. Yeah. Every need met. Because there is power in your words. Some of you are dealing with situations right now because somebody in your family that had authority over you told you you were not going to be anything. And right now you're living it out because they had authority. But thank God for the church. Amen. And for somebody who's your spiritual leader that can reverse that. Praise God. Uh, uh, I think it was Rachel that called uh, Benjamin Benoai, son of my sorrow. She was uh, giving him a name based on her own experience. But his father left her on by the back of the tent and said, oh, his name shall be called Benjamin, son of my right hand. So when you have, amen, uh, somebody who's speaking life over you, Amen. Some of you don't understand that even though, as much as you are struggling in this life, you will have persecution, but it could have been much worse if you didn't have folks praying around you and, and prophesying over you and, 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 and telling you to live. I, I, it just dawned on me this week. I'm going to go into the homily, but it just dawned on me this week. I realized that God is a God of impossibility. When, when you consider the story of the dry bones, and they were very dry, amen, evangelist Nelson. That means they were dead long time. I mean, there was no flies, no maggots. They were very dry. There was nothing, there was no heartbeat you could say. You know, sometimes we think people are dead and somebody said, oh, he's alive. And they rush into the, into the ambulance and uh, apply CPR. There was nothing like that. And, and, and so the Lord asked the prophet, I mean, can these bones live? Bones. I mean, I mean, dead for days. It's not like Lazarus, four days. I mean, they had no, nothing on them. Praise God. And he said, Lord, no noise. And God said, prophesy. So many of you are alive today because somebody is prophesying over you and speaking life over you. So I'm going to ask you to touch somebody. If, if, if anybody does think or think it, does be able to touch you, shut them off and find somebody who's going to speak life over you. Because that's what, that's what you depend on. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. We need to be a favor in this Hallelujah. I speak life over you. I cancel every assignment. Amen. Of the enemy over you, Amanda. Oh my God. Over you, Brother Kamar. Over you. Those of you who travel on the highway, I cancel. Hallelujah. That sleeping spirit. Hallelujah. God, that, 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 that incident, that accident. Tell me you're alive. Hallelujah. Oh, she's a part of this traveling. She's away today. Over to God. But I cover her under the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody help me pray. I don't know why. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Over to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Amen. 
Luke chapter 19, I won't be long, praise God. I, I, I just wanted to, uh, I was saying with uh, somebody yesterday that of late I'm just, I have this burden. Um, I, I know I am serving as a suffragan bishop in an organization, and, and but my first, but at the market tell you, my first office in church was evangelist, and I, I think I found the license the other day. Um, I was first ordained as an evangelist, and we used to we used to go on, on buses in the marketplace, um, street meetings in volatile areas, um, because uh, as much as it was 1991. We, we were convinced that Jesus is coming soon. And uh, I think the church, uh, church has so many needs. Um, you know, you can't preach salvation every Sunday because people need to know how to grow and, and access the gifts of the Spirit and, and how to name stuff and believe God and, and need healing and deliverance, all kind of stuff. But, but the main thing is the main thing. I mean, if you, if you don't have Jesus, nothing else matters. Amen. I think there's a song that says, whatever my lot, <laughs> when I, I'm rich or poor or, or sick or healthy, whatever my lot, thou has taught me to say, the main thing, it is well with my soul. And so without any further ado, I want to I wanna jump into this, this text today. Uh, the Bible, first of all, in this chapter, in this book, Luke is a people person. And I haven't gone through the, 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 the Gospels in a long time. But Luke is a people person. Uh, the, the scripture says that he was a doctor. Uh, obviously not a medical doctor like we know it today. He wasn't offering vaccines and or uh, performing operations, nothing. But he had a little bit more than the regular folks. Uh, and people would go to him for advice. Maybe he had some remedies that he could uh, suggest. And uh, he had the reputation so that he was known as Luke the physician. Uh, only in the book of Luke, in the gospel according to St. Luke. As a matter of fact, he also wrote Acts as a continuation. But only in this account of the gospel uh, would you find uh, feelings being expressed. You know, Jesus prayed until his sweat became like drops of blood. Uh, when Mary was pregnant, how the baby moved. And Matthew wasn't concerned about that. Matthew was concerned about whether, amen, the assets equal the liabilities. And Mark was talking to the Romans. They were concerned about power. But 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 Luke was a people person. And, and you will find in this account that there are many things that Jesus did that was come surrounding feelings and how he was moved with compassion and so on and so forth. The prodigal son relationships and so on and so forth but in, in this book uh, the, the chapter 19 starts out by naming a city called Jericho and uh, once you hear the term Jericho I'm sure many of you who are uh, familiar with the scripture your mind goes, goes back to that strong hold that, that Israel had to conquer uh, on their way to the promised land uh, it was a fortified place uh, I mean Jericho was no no it was the walls were impenetrable um, and it was not just a, a simple wall like we have it today. It was almost a, a highway kind of wall. It was broad enough for several chariots to be able to, to, to travel side by side around it. So it's not something you could easily topple. Amen. And so when they encounter that, and again, here I am talking about God who deals with impossibilities. Praise God. I mean, having a man build an ark when there was no rain. Impossibilities. And I, I maybe just talking to one or two of y'all today. I'm sorry I can't dismiss the service and just talk to those of you. But maybe there is somebody, not maybe, obviously there is somebody here today that has an impossible task. All right. Otherwise, amen, God wouldn't have wasted your time having you sit here. Praise God. Somebody's faced with something that looks impossible. And I don't know what it is. I don't want to guess or spell and show you off. I don't know if it's your health or your finances or, or whatever the case may be. It looks like a tall order. But I'm here to remind you that what's impossible with, with man is possible with God. Amen. Because with God, all things are possible. But I also want to raise you one if you will allow me. Praise God. That when you are a child of God, amen, you, 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 you start to operate in the God class. 
Amen. Uh, hear me now. I'm not. I'm not saying you're God. I'm just saying you're in the same. You're in the same classroom. You're in the same space as He is. You're not the teacher, but you're in the same room. Praise God. We God operates it because with God all things are possible. But but if you believe, all things are possible to Him that believe. All right. Amen. So so if 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 all things are possible to Him that believe, and with God all things are possible, then we are in the same vicinity. Can I get an amen? amen. amen. All right, all right. And so, so Jericho, well, there must be a reason, amen, that the Bible opens up with Jesus, amen, amen, uh, entering or passing through Jericho. That the first time Luke mentions Jericho, praise God, and there was another parable about the, the, the Good Samaritan. You remember that story, amen, how the man was, was going up to Jerusalem and he passed through a certain place, amen, where he was robbed and beaten and left half dead, amen, half dead, praise God, and so here we are again at Jericho, praise God, I thought the city was over and done with, amen, I thought the walls were already erased, praise God, but obviously there are certain things that are physical, and there are certain things that are spiritual, so even though and even if the natural walls are not there today, praise God, somebody in this room, praise God, is facing a impossible wall, something that's impenetrable, something that looks like you can't get over. And the Bible says that behold there was a man there. Again, it's not common for, for people's names to be mentioned. We don't know who, amen, certain people are. We only heard a certain man had this or a certain woman had an issue of blood and, and all that kind of stuff. But God was specific. He mentions the name of this person and the Bible says that the Jews had a problem with this person's occupation. He was a publican. He was a tax collector. Praise God. And I've, uh, I don't know if I've said it here, but if I have, forgive me for being repetitious. But let me explain that the, the tax collectors were not liked. They were, they were hated because they collected taxes from their own people and pay the taxes over, amen, to the enemy, amen. And uh, so the enemy, what would happen is if, if, if the enemy wanted to collect taxes from you, sisters and you, what they would do, they would put out tenders. They would say, who wants to collect taxes on our behalf? Uh, and of course, nobody in their right mind would agree. But publicans say, we'll do it, but with, with the authority to collect taxes comes the authority to do whatever is necessary to get the taxes, uh, amen. And so they could lock you up if you don't have the taxes. They could erase your business. Amen. Can you imagine somebody who is your own blood or your own flesh doing certain things to you? Amen. And so those who were publicans, every time the word publican is mentioned, if you look close, especially in the book of Matthew, you will also find the word sinners. They don't want you to forget that these people low class. Amen. They are, in God's eyes, they are sinners. Amen. They are set up. Praise God. Amen. And Zacchaeus found himself, amen, in that capacity. But the Bible said he was rich. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying if you're rich, you're a sinner. Praise God. I want to, amen, put away that notion that because you're a child of God, you're supposed to be pinching pennies and, 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 and begging all day long. The devil is alive. Amen. Abraham was rich. Praise God. And I'm looking for God to bless some of you. You already know what poverty is like. You have already, amen, had enough chicken back and dumpling. You have already, praise God, amen, amen, had mackerel and bananas. It's time for you to be blessed. I don't know about you. Is there anybody here? Some of you can't handle the blessing because with the blessing comes pressure. People look at you and say you're showing off because you're dressed nicely. And they have no idea. Amen. Unfortunately, when you used to wear crocus there was no photos. You, you couldn't take a selfie. So you have nothing to show where you're coming from. They only see you now. Praise God. And some of you are afraid to wear what God has blessed you with. I'm not talking about shorts and, and, and all kind of inappropriate. I'm talking about decent clothes. Praise God. God has blessed you and you're still walking around like God hasn't done anything. The devil is alive. You ought to be bold like Reverend Cameron and wear your clothes like Brother Gamar. Amen. And let people know. Amen. And God. Is there anybody in the room here that can honestly say, I've been blessed? Amen. Amen. Come on, be real, be real. Say, I've been blessed. Praise God. If you know you used to wash clothes in between 
Sundays and, and, and used to, I used to iron my jackets until I used to iron my shirts one day the iron got too hot and thank goodness and, and they put a piece on the back of the shirt maybe that's why I'm used to wearing my jacket no matter how hot it is so, praise God because you could not remove your jacket back then praise God kneeling down forget it there was a hole in the bottom of your shoes praise God you wore those shoes until the heel amen amen was removed and you're walking on this can I get a witness here somebody yeah. so when God has blessed you you're not showing off you're not crushing anybody else you're not trying to be ostentatious yeah. you just want to be grateful yeah. somebody say amen to God Amen. I am not into those churches uh, that need to wear ripped jeans and pajamas. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. I want to come to God's house like I'm coming to see the King uh, because He's been good to me. Somebody say Hallelujah to God. Yeah. One of the reasons. One of the reasons that 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 that, that uh, uh, Isaac was able to recognize Rebecca. You know, when Abraham sent his servant to get a wife. Amen, sister uh, Alicia. When Abraham sent his servant to get a wife for Isaac, he sent the servants along with gifts. Amen. And gifts. So, so when he saw this woman coming with the gifts that left his house, he knew this was the one. Hallelujah. God is looking for somebody, amen, to model what he has given to you. Amen. Amen. Stop hiding what God has given to you. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Let me say it again. Amen. I feel the Holy, the Holy yeah. Ghost. Stop hiding what God has given to you. Amen. God has anointed you. God has mantled you. God has poured his spirit in you. Amen. God has given you something to do in the kingdom. Amen. Stop hiding. Amen. Amen. It is wickedness. God, the word of God calls it wickedness. When, when God gives you a gift and he could have given it to somebody else, when you dig a hole and hide it and don't use it, God calls it wickedness. Wickedness is like ingratitude. Amen. Amen. Joseph said, how can I do this wicked thing? And said, like, what is wickedness? When, when Potiphar is good to you and you turn around and molest his wife. Amen. That's wickedness. When God is good to you and you don't, amen, you don't come up with gratitude, that's wickedness. Amen. When you don't raise your hand and say thank you, that's wickedness. When you refuse to praise God and spare your life, that's wickedness. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. We, not, we shouldn't have to beg you. We shouldn't have to come up here with pom-poms and try, try to motivate you. See all this music we get? Praise God. Synthesizer and trombones and, and drums and percussion. Some churches have lights and fog just to try and get you to worship. But the, all the saints and all of that, they just think of the goodness of Jesus. Hey, glory to God. I feel God. And when they come to the house of God, there was a quickening. There was a shaking. So you think it's amen theatrics, but I'm here to tell you it's just gratitude. Is there anybody here grateful? Hallelujah. Grateful, grateful, grateful. We lay our crowns. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Grateful. Yes. Yes. I'm grateful. Talk somebody tonight. I'm just grateful. Yes. I'm not trying to get in your nerve. I'm just grateful. Yes. I'm not trying to knock off your hat. I'm just grateful. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to show fancy my dances. Yes. I'm just grateful. Yes. I'm not trying to show off my wardrobe. I'm just grateful. Yes. Hallelujah. I put a buy. Somebody bought me this the other day. I wore some sister's hat and somebody said, Oh, I love that shirt. I, even I told him somebody traveled and bought it for me. I, I'm just grateful. Somebody say hallelujah. I'm just I'm just grateful. I'm really I'm just grateful. Hallelujah. The car I'm driving, I'm just grateful. Is that because I want to drive that? Somebody said, God has blessed me. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. Amen. I'm just grateful. Amen. So, so when God is this, be grateful. Hey, so, 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 so God wants to bless you. I, I need to say that again. Tell somebody, please. God wants to bless you. You could be the only person that they ever heard this from. God wants to bless you. 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 The word bless means to speak well of. God wants to bless you. Amen. It's a blessing to be alive. Oh, I'm stuck. I want one where I'm stuck there. I'm stuck. It's a blessing to be healthy. Amen. It's a blessing. Come on, somebody. God wants to. I'm not just talking about money. Money is good. Huh? Money answering all things. Some of you are afraid to talk about money. You know why? Because the enemy, anytime God wants to do something, it's the enemy that wants to jump out in front of God and make a mockery 
of the thing. So by the time it gets to you, you don't want to participate because you have heard so many negatives about it. Yes, I know there are some wolves in sheep clothing, but God still wants to bless you. And everybody who is rich is a robber. And everybody who is rich is a gambler. And everybody who is rich is a cheat. There are some because of it, I work hard for my money. Amen. He opened his door for me. Praise God. He gave me strength to get well. I wish I was talking to someone. Look at my mother, brother. Come on. Oh, sister Zandy. Amen. Tell somebody. God wants to bless you. God wants to bless you with a new suit. God, God wants to bless you with good health. Help me preach somebody. Reach over and tell somebody. God wants to bless you. Hallelujah. God wants, the devil wants to stress you, but God wants to bless you. Help me preach. The devil wants to stress you. Hey, spending me all the time. We talk over here. And the devil wants to stress you, but God wants to bless you. Look at and you say, hey! The devil wants to stress you, but God wants to bless you. So, so Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was rich. Now Zacchaeus was rich. Now, now I, I don't. He, 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 he perhaps stole to get his riches, and so because a lot of people, amen, people steal to get it. Some people don't want it because a lot of people are going to think they stole to get it. One of the reasons, amen. I'm not promoting it. Sometimes people think I'm promoting stuff, but one of the reasons our old early church didn't do a lot of jewelry thing is because you know slaves couldn't afford jewelry, and if you have jewelry, they must have stolen to get it. Amen. Come on, somebody. I, I actually know a church brother, maybe let me see what I'm talking about. Had a had a BMW and he took it to the dealership to got it maintained and oil changed. And they refused to give him back the key. Praise God. Just because they couldn't believe that somebody in his shade could afford something like that. And so a lot of us came and don't want certain things because we don't want people to think we told to get it. Praise God. But when God puts a blessing on you, Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. Somebody, I just hear the Lord. Somebody, somebody hired Balaam to, amen. Somebody hired Balaam, the Holy Ghost. Somebody hired Balaam to curse Israel. And Balaam said, I can't do it. I have received commandment to bless. And I can't do anything about it. Oh, I feel the anointing in my hands. Can I bother you if you feel something in your hands? Just lay, some, lay your hands on somebody and say, neighbor, I have received commandment to bless. And I can't reverse it. Oh, shut up. Glory to God. I have received. Come on, lay hands. God is healing somebody today. God, I have received. If you don't feel them, don't do it. But if you feel something in your hands, tell them I have received commandment to bless. And I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. I received. Amen. Commandment to bless. And I can't reverse it. Walk across the aisle. Will you please? If anybody feel like getting up, find somebody across the aisle. And say, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. I have received commandment to bless Sister Cindy and I can't reverse it. Hallelujah. I don't hear nobody talking. Somebody find Mother Joyce and say, Mother Joyce, I received commandment to bless and I can't reverse it. Hallelujah. Sister Cavendish is not in the room. Somebody reach over to Esther and say, Esther, 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 read all about it. I received commandment to bless and I can't reverse it. The devil can't do anything about your blessing. Hallelujah. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. God has released a word. And the word shall not return unto him void. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It shall not return void. Amen. Hallelujah. So Zacchaeus was rich. He's going to prosper. Yeah. In the thing where he said, Thank you, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Zacchaeus was rich. But even though he was rich, his riches did not stop him from seeking God. Hallelujah. There are some people who cannot handle a blessing. The moment God blesses them, they leave. They start working on weekends. Hallelujah. Amen. The rock on their finger gets so heavy. They can't worship no more. Hallelujah. They used to shake your hand over here. No, when it's a prayer, the Lord like glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But there are a few of us. When God bless us, we still stay blessed. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here that won't run away with the blessing? When God bless you, you're blessing back. Hallelujah. Amen. If you increase your, 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 your pay, you're giving more tithes. Amen. Because you know how to handle the blessing. I wish somebody will help me. So even though Zacchaeus, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody worship the Lord with me. Although Zacchaeus.
Jesus was rich. He wanted to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Church, don't get me wrong. Hallelujah. There are some people that you and I pass by because we feel that they have it all together. They already have their bread, butter, and two sides. They live in a big house and they drive a nice car and they got another house for the helper. But let me tell you, they still want Jesus. Don't you pass anybody by thinking that only the poor people need Jesus. The rich need Jesus. Hallelujah. The wealthy need Jesus. Amen. The people with money need Jesus. Zacchaeus was rich reverend. But he said, I need to see Jesus. Is there anybody in the room here that said, I must have Jesus? Oh, I have a car, but I, I must have Jesus. I have a good job, but I, I must have Jesus. I want somebody to help me talk to somebody and say, it doesn't matter what I possess. If I don't have Jesus, it matters nothing. Glory to God. And the Bible says that he was little. He was a short man. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree. Can I use poetic license here, please? And say he wanted to seek God more. He went up into a seeking more tree. Hallelujah. If you need God, amen, you've got to find a place where you can find God. Hallelujah. So you want to find God, but only on your terms. You are too busy being busy. But the Bible says seeking the Lord. Oh, I feel preaching here. While he may be found. Let me tell you something. If you know what the Lord, hallelujah, has in store for you, you will seek him some more. Zacchaeus went into a seeking more tree and said, I must find him. I wish somebody in the room here. It's not only the older folks who are Jesus, but there are some young people who can say you can have the whole world, but give me Jesus. Something does my heart right when I see young people. The last time, Brother Lamont, in the next service, somebody wrote two paragraphs on Facebook. They were so pleased to see a young man leading service that they had to write about it. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, amen, when you get busy doing something for God, amen, you draw other people. There is a whole lot of people going to the dogs. That's D-O-G. But they got it backwards. There are some going to God. Hallelujah. That's G-O-D. And I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I wish there were a few young people in this church. I know you're young. You said, I want the Holy Ghost. I need more of God. I want to let my light shine so that others may see God through me. Can I get a witness in the room here today? Zacchaeus said, I, I want to see him. Oh, see him. Just to look upon his face. I'm in a pit. There to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory. Somebody say glory. Let me lift my voice. Cares all past. Home at last. Ever to rejoice. Everybody want to see Jesus. Zacchaeus was not the only one. Hallelujah. Last week in Sunday school, we heard about the Greeks. Obviously, Philip could speak Greek. So they came to Philip and said, Sir, we would see Jesus. Hallelujah. Some folks come to church. Then I'm coming to see Pastor. Then I'm coming to see the First Lady. Then I'm coming to see who we are what. But they are here to see Jesus. So when we worship, let's make sure we lift up Jesus. He said, If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Praise Him when you praise Him. Lift up Jesus. Preachers, when you preach, lift up Jesus. Musicians, when you play, lift up Jesus. Usher, when you usher, lift up Jesus. Saints, when you live, lift up Jesus. Help somebody beside you. Help me lift him up. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify. So, Zacchaeus went up into a secret of a tree. And when Jesus, I don't know if Jesus saw when he did it, but God is God. When he got to this place, he's when the Bible said when he got to the place. One thing I love about Jesus, he knows where I am. 
Oh, and he was talking about late in the midnight hour. Leave me alone, friend. Amen. Late in the midnight hour. When everybody else is fast asleep. Sometimes you are awake and you don't know why you can't sleep without it. Hallelujah. But God knows where to stop to find you. Can I get a witness here? Some folks pass you by. Don't know why. Amen. Maybe you don't look like you need help. Or maybe you don't know what you need. Or maybe you don't have what you need. But only God. Hallelujah. In the in the story of the Good Samaritan, he came to the place where the man was. In the story of Zacchaeus, he came to the tree where the man was. In the case of Lazarus, he came to the grave where the man was. In the story of the Paul and Silas, he came to the cell where the apostles were. In the case of Jonah, he found the fish where the prophet was. I'm here to tell you, I don't know where you are. But God knows where to find you. Somebody help me preach, please. One of the things I love about God, He knows where to find me. Somebody ought to praise Him today. Because no matter where you are in life, God knows where to find you. Where to find me. He stopped by, stopped at the tree, and said, Zacchaeus, come down. For today, I must abide at your house. Jesus made the invitation. It's one thing about God. He extends the invitation first. He said, and even though it's your house, I'm inviting myself. I must abide in your house. You know why? Because he knew Zacchaeus was seeking for him. He knew Zacchaeus was seeking for him. And so when he got there, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of obstacles. I'm always done. There are a lot of obstacles in life. Praise God. There are, there are health problems, there are money problems, there are job problems, there are all kind of problems. But one of the things I'm challenging you, one of the things that you must overcome is people. Amen. Y'all don't hear me. Because if you do good, somebody will have something to say. If you do bad, somebody will have something to say. If you don't do anything, Somebody will have something to say. So if you watch people, you won't do anything. So might as well you do something for them to have something to say. Can I get a witness here? I wish somebody would help me. Let me say it again. If you don't do anything, they won't say you're lazy. If you do something, amen, you shouldn't have done that. If you don't do anything, Lord have mercy. Somebody's going to criticize one way or the other. So might as well you do something. Tell your neighbor, do something. Don't hurt them. I'll give them my elbow and say, do something. Hallelujah. So when Jesus stopped by his house, of course, parole. Somebody's going to say, he shouldn't have gone there. Zacchaeus was a sinner. How dare he go to that man's house? I thought he was a righteous man. But I thank God when I have free preach, Lord. When I couldn't get to him. When my sins say you can't go there. You're too sinful. Amen. There's no use to pray. You're not holy enough. When when my sin kept me at bay. When the angels kept me out of the Garden of Eden. And I can't go there. God stepped out. Hallelujah. Of his royal diadem. Came down through 40. And two generations. Rolled himself in flesh. And say I'm going to go by. Those who can't come to Lord have mercy. Amen. Isaiah 9 verse. Amen. Verse 2. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them and the light shine. Verse 6. For unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Jesus is to me. Mighty God, counselor, Prince of Peace is he. Saving me, keeping me from all sin and shame. I feel God. Wonderful is my redeemer. I'm looking for the saints to praise his name. Somebody say hallelujah. I might know when I couldn't go to him. He came where I was. But thank God. Look at your neighbor. I said, neighbor, I'm so glad he didn't leave me where he found me. You ought to help me preach. I said, when he 
he found me. He didn't leave me where he found me, but he picked me up. I wish I had so much to testify. I said he picked me up, turned me around. One person got it. Let's try it again. He picked me up, turned me around. Let me try one more time. I said he picked me up, turned me around. Jesus, he went to, to Zacchaeus' house. He said, Make this. Come down. Come down off your pump and cry. Come down off your high horse. Come down. Amen. Come down. Come down. Sin, righteous and exalted nation. Sin is a reproach. Come down. Amen. Amen. For today, make this and come down. Today, I'm going to be in your house. And Jesus. Spent some time in Zacchaeus or sometimes. But when Zacchaeus came out, we, I announced earlier we're doing a food drive. One of the one of the signs of you being really converted is when you start doing things for the poor. There, there is absolutely no way you can say you're saved. Jesus, Jesus said something to some folks in Matthew 25. Come be blessed of my father. Come, come over here and, and sit on my right hand. Because I was in prison and you do this, this, and the other. And I said, Lord, when did we? We, we don't remember. He said, you know, uh, for as much as you do to the least. God looks out for the least, the lost, and the last. Amen. When, when you, for as much as you do to the least of these. You do not, that's a good sign of your salvation. And because God is a saved God, that's why the miracle of the 5,000 is in all four accounts of the gospel. Matthew wrote about it. Mark wrote about it. Luke wrote about it. He said, how can you say you're saved if you see your brother has need and you strip up your bowels of compassion? Talk to me, somebody. The you could do. And so because Zacchaeus was saved, Zacchaeus said, I'm going to give out my goods to the poor. And if I held up anybody at gunpoint and took anything from them by false accusation, I'm going to give them four times as much. Jesus said, this day, salvation is come to your house. Not that you can buy it, but your giving is proof that you've been, ch you been changed on the inside. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. This mission, this mission, I'm done. It's possible. I don't, I said a whole lot of things today. But but the main thing is for you to be saved. The 10th the verse, the last verse we read this morning, first said, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. First Timothy 2, 1 Timothy 1, verse 15, let's try it. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Paul say, of which I am chief. That is his main state. Let's go, let's go to John 12, I don't know, maybe, maybe verse 29, I could be wrong. Hmm. No, let's try verse 22. Then I got it wrong. Uh, 27. 27. Jesus says, No, my, my soul troubled. And what should I say? Father, deliver me. No, no, no. Out to the question. For this cause, the main thing why Christ came is not to make you rich, not to give you a, a, a free car garage. If it, if it comes, it's nice. The main thing, the mission, his mission is for you to be saved. Yes. So if you don't have anything, if you're saved, whatever my lot, no, it's God been a saved. No, anybody happy if you're saved? Listen, church, listen, church. Let's cut this, 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 and we not, people not come here to be, they could go to the pub if they want to. We don't have what it takes to entertain sinners. We don't have it. We can't, we can't tint the lazy, or if that's the right word, and, 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 and make you happy. There, there, there are things in the world that's, that's designed for that. Make you act silly and, 
and give your money and just act crazy. We, we are here to save souls. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you, it may be tough for you now. When you look at what you miss when, when the Lord comes and you look at the hellfire that you miss, you will be so happy that you said yes to the I know it's tough. If it were easy, everybody would do it. I know we're young and we, we have our temptations and so on. But even if you fall, the Bible said, any man sin, we have an advocate. Don't stay there. God pencil that in because you know who we are. But don't stay there and just say, well, I'm only human. Get yourself back together. Because salvation is something that will be worth your time. Oh, I wish I had a few moments here. Evangelist, could you help me? Praise God. I want to pray over somebody today who need a Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If you're in this room and you're not saved, today is the day of salvation. This mission is possible. Praise God. You don't have to have anything but a broken heart and a contrite spirit. God, we love this Hallelujah. Have you a heart that's weary? Hey, where's the Sister Dolores? Tending a load of care. Are you a soul that seeking rest from? The burdens you did. Do you know? Do you know? My Jesus. Oh Lord. Do you know? My Yeah, I just... 